Well, back with just a quick update. So I've had to re-RTV the thermistor back into the hot end. So it's just hanging there and I'm going to have to let it cure so I'm not going to be able to do anything with it till tomorrow. But as you can see everything is back up to uh, where it should be. I've got my thermistors giving proper temperatures. So all is good. Uh, the mistake I made was horribly stupid and idiotic and I just did a bad thing. It was my fault. I did, I did a bad thing. <laughs> I just, I don't know why I did that. I'm not telling you what it is because it's embarrassingly stupid. But it involves not putting heat shrink over our, the leads before I put the sleeving on. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyways, while that's curing, I was able to go ahead and just do some of the basic checks. The manual takes you up through some software change, like installing software, updating the software, the firmware. Some basic checks that you can do up until I get to the cal um, the next thing I have to do is the calibration part, which I can't do because of this. But I could do everything else, so let's just, I'm going to back up here if I can. So I've got, on my computer here, I've got this new, uh, it's called Matter Control. Actually, it looks like a pretty simple, straightforward, cool piece of software. So I'm on the controls menu right now, and you can see that there's the X and Y buttons and uh, all these different movement controls. So I am going to hit the home all button, and we're going to watch this thing move. Ready? Three, two, one. As it bounces off the ends. So now I can just, I can move it down. I can move the X. The Y. Can't seem to go lower than that. That's weird. Okay, well, whatever. It's probably because I haven't actually been able to get to the configuration bits or anything. All I can do is just this. See how it sort of bounces off of those? Those are the end stops. Oops. Okay, <laughs> it's time to stop dicking around with it because that, um, I gotta just let that cure. Okay, but it all works. So I'm going to post this update, and then tomorrow night I will do the final calibrations and everything, and print out the first thing, which is the um, the shroud fan, or the shroud for the uh, peak fan, which goes right there. I really should have wrote down which one's red and which one's black. I've uh, got some heat shrink tubing on here to identify these. These are the uh, uh, fans. Oh, let me show you one other thing. This has a neat little feature on it. Oops. Total time printing and total filament used. So I like that total filament used bit. Uh, so you just, you know, every print job, if you, as long as you pay attention to the number before you start your print and after you print, you can tell exactly how much filament you used. I like that. I really do. And then total time printing. Uh, I like that too. Okay, that's the end of this video. So next up, final calibrations and first print. Bye-bye.